Good evening, everyone. Depending on how our current pandemic has treated you, you could be feeling that life is handing you quite a bit more than you're used to handling these days. And there is nothing wrong with admitting being down. But as tonight's athlete will show us, the real crime is to stop looking for what can lift you up. Right there, that's what I want. In the 11 years that Jason Elkins has been a personal trainer, he's seen every level of athlete come through his doors. There you go. And he has found a way to make them all better. In the body square. From NFL players to wannabe weekend warriors. Big truck at the top. Working with sprinters requires a different course of action. Good. We want to make sure that their core, that their legs, their upper back is strong, so they're, therefore they're able to apply more force into the ground. Elkins has worked with the differently abled in the past as well, mainly wheelchair racers. But when Antoine Craig walked into his gym, Elkins was stopped in his tracks. I didn't catch it the first time, what sport are we doing? He said, track. I said, what? Antoine That's is it. nearly completely blind. Ten. Good job. That's what we want. He has retinitis pigmentosa, a condition that causes the retinas to slowly die over time. He was diagnosed a decade ago and started his academic career at VCU with some vision, but had to prepare for the inevitable. But I had to actually commit to, to like my full blindness and not actually use my vision so that I could actually graduate. Antoine had a lot working against him. Looking for something positive, go. He started running about four years ago with the help of the folks at Sportable. He ran the Broad Street Mile and found that just finishing, no matter how fast or slow, gave him something positive on which to focus. Like once I crossed the finish line, it was just the feeling of like accomplishment that I, I at that time I wasn't getting because I was like enduring so much loss. Like, like I'm losing my vision, I'm losing like friends, I'm, you know, I'm away from my family and you're just taking so many L's. Like that moment when I crossed the finish line, it's just like, oh, like, okay, this feels great. Sit, go. Through his workouts and progression, Antoine discovered he was actually a better sprinter than a distance runner. I do that a lot. So Antoine trains and competes with a guide runner. The two are tethered at the hands with a simple string. Go. The guide runner usually needs to be faster than the athlete, and they need to sync up their strides and pacing to run their best. Go. Antoine is preparing for the Panolympic Games in Tokyo, which have been pushed back a year due to the coronavirus pandemic. Right there. That's what I want. That's more time to work out with Elkins. Go. Drive, drive, drive. Who was caught taking it a little too easy on Antoine at the beginning. And when he looks at me and says, I'm blind, I'm not weak, then it put me in my place as far as great, let's train. I'm going to train you the way I would train any other sprinter. Antoine ran a personal best of 11.7 seconds in the 100 meter dash at the Parapan Games in Peru last summer. His goal is to run 11 seconds flat or better. Go. There is no doubt in anyone's mind who is around Antoine for even a few moments that that goal is achievable. If you just commit to something. If you commit to anything, you can you could accomplish it. And I think that's why I'm kind of on this journey now. Go! Drive, drive, drive. The attitude is what you want from any athlete. I don't care if you, whatever sport you're in, if you have an attitude the way that Antoine has as far as it's drive, it is discipline, there's no what woe is me is I'm going to push. I have a goal and I'm going to reach a goal. Everything that you have with you now is enough, you know? You're not missing anything, you know? So you can't really focus on the negative. Just focus on the positive. And just keep moving and you'll get there. As we mentioned, Antoine has even more time to prepare for the Paralympics in Tokyo, which will now be held next year. If you'd like to follow his journey, he posts regular updates on his YouTube channel. Just search for Legendary Untold. A link to his channel will be on our website as well. If you'd like to nominate someone to be profiled, email us at beyondtheroster at WTVR.com. The News at 11 is coming right back.